Hi guys, nice to have you back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. In a recent visit to Roseburg Yard, California, I noticed an interesting thing. They have piles of pre-made track, sectional track, just like we use in our model railroading. And I thought, well, wouldn't that be an interesting load? So as soon as I got home, I decided to start putting something together and see if I could make it look good. This is possibly one of the easiest projects I've ever done. I got out some of my flex track, started cutting it the correct length, snip, snip, snip. And then of course I got out my favorite adhesive, good old fashioned Elmer's glue all. Put a little glue on there, put a little track on there, put a little glue on there, pile them up. When they got done, they looked really good. I'm thinking, hmm, what else can I find out about these pre-made tracks? One of the reasons that the North won the Civil War was a guy by the name of Herman Haupt. To win any war, you need to keep supplies moving and be able to move men around at will. Well, this Haupt fellow, he uh, stressed the speed rather than performance when repairing rail. He was able to get bridges and rail put back together faster than anybody else. Of course, in any war, one of the prime targets are bridges. You build them out of wood, they burn, they fall apart, and how was he able to put them back together quickly? Now here's a real case of using this pre-fabricated track. Hout's idea was to build a whole bunch of sections ready to go, not only of track, but also of bridge parts. So I thought I would do that on my layout. Let's have a section of track going in right now. It's actually a real fun little project, trying to put together a story behind something that's going on in your layout, which is, uh, well, what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a little world that doesn't exist. Another fun little story I came across is locomotive number 484 from the Chicago Museum of Science. In 1995, the museum found itself with this steam locomotive that they didn't want to display anymore. They wanted to get rid of it, but the tracks were long gone, years and years ago. So what they did is they laid the tracks right down the middle of the road. They'd move the steam locomotive onto it, go around behind it, grab the piece behind it, bring it up in front, and lay it back down again. An elegant solution to a difficult problem. Pretty cool, huh? As you put together your layout, you might think about these little vignettes. How am I going to make my scene more real? A little bit of research, a little bit of fun, and next thing you know, your layout's looking real different. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this show, and I hope you come back and join me again sometime real soon. Bye, guys.